Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbag. So, we are in November. This can only mean one thing. It is sunflower harvesting day, or month. Because we do need to get our very last field done. I don't think we have any more fields, although it would be very embarrassing if I've missed one. Now, we did do 45. We did do number one, we did do eight. So yeah, 68 is the final one, as you can see, ready to harvest, as you would hope, as it is November. Uh, so we're gonna start that in a minute or two, but first we just need to do the rounds, we need to check up on everything. First of all, we have the sugar mill. All that sugar cane from the previous two episodes has been delivered to here, and it is processing it nice and quickly. Well, I say nice and quickly, fast-ish. <laughs> I think it's doing about 12,000 liters per month, which sounds like quite a lot, but we do have 321,000 litres remaining. So that sort of puts it into perspective. Anyway, what we're going to do is slide these out of the trigger. What we really need to do is bring a flatbed trailer over here, which we will do. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure if there's any more to spawn. Yeah, maybe another five. Indeed. Yeah, so we don't want just to have a huge stockpile here. We do need to actually <laughs> put them onto a trailer as and when we're ready. Um, we do have a trailer, as I said, so um, that is going to be all right. It's just we need to bring one over here. We do have one, but it might be worth having a, a bigger one. So that's all those moved. We'll get this taken back over to the farm. Actually, we don't even... Well, we can use it for the sunflowers, but we don't need to use it for the sunflowers. This red trailer... I guess as it is already on higher, we will make the most of it. So we'll take this over to the sunflower field. But sunflowers don't fill the combine very quickly. So, yeah, it's not like it's going to be a mad rush. But I suppose that would be an interesting test. It's a big field, so the question will be, will we be able to fill this trailer? And if we can fill the trailer, can we fill two trailers? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Here we are. Right, we don't want to be in the crop, obviously. We don't want to be on the road. So we're just going to have to park on this little stretch of grass here. There we go. Um, yeah, cows as well. The cows are doing okay. They've got the food they require. Oh, this slurry is full, though. So we probably should empty that. I'm not too sure if on this map, when the slurry is full, milk production stops. Uh, I guess there is a quick test. We're on 85888. Speed up time for a few minutes. Well, like, what, half an hour? 86626. So it doesn't stop it. Okay, that's good. Uh, obviously, we're probably wasting the um, slurry which is now being produced, but do we need it? I don't know. Uh, we'll just check up on the biogas. There is space, so it would make sense to transfer it. But <laughs> unfortunately, yes, my um, tractors are all tied up here. This trailer can be returned. I have already returned the sugarcane harvester. Yeah, let's go ahead over to the other farm. I'm just gonna transfer a tanker load of slurry. Well, maybe we could do two tanker loads. We also have all the solid manure as well. These cows, they just produce so much. All their byproducts. I guess it would make sense to do that. Oh, what? This tractor was going two miles per hour with the other trailer on, and it's still doing two miles per hour. What have I done to break it? It only does two miles per hour in reverse now. Ah, okay. That's weird. So, because the cruise control was set to that, it wouldn't let me even manually override that? That's weird. Never known that before, I don't think. I know it does that for the worker. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. And how the cruise control is set higher seems to have fixed the issue. If it was an issue. So, yeah, we will. We'll transfer some solid manure as well. It just makes sense to do that. Yeah, it doesn't really transfer that quickly. So, we can keep doing this in between.
Okay, so <laughs> instead of telling me it's full, it just keeps dumping it onto the ground. Well, that's annoying. Oh well. Um, yeah, well, that's two tanker loads of storage. I'll just do number three, and then we can get the combine transferred to that field. We're going to have to go and pick up a header though. And this video was recorded straight after the previous episode, so I'm sure somebody will have already told me the solution to the uh, slow reversing. So thank you everybody who has uh, who has already told me. I'm yet to see the comments, but yes, I will see them. <laughs> uh, even though this video is obviously going out maybe several days after the previous episode, I'm not too sure yet. And we can just leave that going. Good. Right, so we should still have the combine. I don't think I returned it. No, I didn't. I did return the header though, because obviously we didn't need to have the standard cereal crop header. We do need a corn or a sunflower header. So let's trundle down the road, we'll put the beacons on. For the safety of the other road users. We arrive. Okay. So... We need to get into the header category, corn headers, and I want to go pretty big with the header. Six meters, I reckon we could probably try and push this, I really want to push this uh, the combine to the limit. So yeah, I'm going to try a nine meter, which probably seems absurd, but it's going to be worth trying. I'm going to just engage the PTO and everything here before we take the header all the way up the road and get another trailer for it and stuff just to make sure it's all good make sure the combine's horsepower is high enough I think technically it probably wouldn't be but who knows let's just try it of course no 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 <laughs> unfold the combine as well it always helps wow okay so, horsepower is not a problem. Oops, just taking their window out. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, dealership. Oh, great. I'm the worst customer ever. Well, I spend a lot of money here, but I also demolish their premises. So, what we need to do now is obviously get a trailer for that. Let me just find that one again. There's the trailer. And it really should be, I would hope, quite a fast harvest with this size of header. So it snaps into position. Unless I loaded that perfectly. I don't know actually. Did anyone see it snap? Should auto lock. Anyway, off we go. And I need to refresh my memory as to how we actually get there because before I went the wrong way, I just edited it out. I think actually if we turn left out of here, that is the best way. Well, I didn't edit it out, I just never recorded it in the first place. Which I guess. It's quite a difference. Yeah, just keep going up here and we'll get to 68 and then we can start the harvest. In fact, film 68 doesn't even look that big from the minimap view. It goes to show how big 64 must be. Because 68 is big. Wow, 64 must be huge. Obviously, it would have been nice if we uh, had a header which folded up because then we wouldn't have to put the header in the neighbor's field. I don't think they mind too much. Oh, look at all that traffic I produced. Well, I didn't produce the traffic. I just produced the traffic jam. Mmm, traffic jam. Sounds tasty, but it isn't. Right, so, unfold again. Unfold the combine. And if we're ready, are we ready? Who's not ready? We are ready. Good. Let's roll. Wow, why so fast? Oh no, I was too busy looking at the keyboard. Yeah, why so fast? Is that really the speed he wants to work at? Wow, that's crazy. I haven't even... Wait, is the speed limiter on? Is that... What? That's with the speed limiter on? Why so fast? I'm going to have to reduce that manually, because that is way too fast. Yeah, even at 10 that seems crazy. I don't think we should be doing more than about 8. And even that seems fast. 
Right, well, we'll pull that down. That's, um, that's as fast as we'd ever want to go, I think. Hmm, I still don't feel happy with that. Let's pull it down a bit more. Slow it down. Already 20% full. I would like to think that we can make a full lap of the headland, though, because otherwise we're going to have to keep moving the trailer. Although I am planning on putting this command on a worker. But we've got to do a few laps of the headland first, so... Uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes. I wonder if the sheep are doing okay. Did I check up on the sheep? Yeah, they've got their hay. But the cows do need more food. I think they're going to have to live off hay for the final few episodes. Okay, so the worker has decided to go that way, that's fine. Um, now, of course, we have the sunflower seeds that we have over here. This field is very flat. Now, I was wondering if maybe we should utilise more productions. Because, yeah, with it being so flat, we can obviously build on it very easily. So we could put up the oil factory. And then, of course, sell it again afterwards. Uh, I thought it was flat. It's amazing how you can find any kind of undulation. Uh, it's flattish then. <laughs> it's not super flat. Uh, in that case, what I would do... I think we do have free landscaping on. I hope we do. Yeah, it should be alright. Ooh, that's... Uh, made that look a bit different. Um, but not to worry, we can landscape it again afterwards. So, oil mill. There we go. Pop it there. And, well, as I have just done that, we should probably put some grass back in again. Make it look a bit more natural. And what should we do here? Uh, there's grass on the road. How do you get rid of... How do you delete? How... how uh, remove. I, I very rarely remove. Ah, there we go. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. I love what they've done with the place. The interior design is exquisite. So hopefully the worker is going to get on okay. And we can uh, 
put our first load, 22,000 litres into here. Obviously, we're never going to know for sure if we had enough to fill the trailer. It looks like we probably would have done, though. It's probably about the equivalent of one trailer load. But it just makes sense to start processing all of this. And, yeah, I'm sure there will have been a, an oil mill already on the map. But it just is so much more fun building one, landscaping the field. And if, well, we don't even have to drive anywhere. It's right here. Unless, of course, you're going to tell me it's literally just over the field. Let's just see where it actually is. Oil mill. Where is the oil mill? If there is an oil mill. Maybe there isn't one. Um, yeah, maybe there isn't one. I'm starting to think there isn't. Hmm. Okay, well, um, yeah. Oh, the pizza rear. We never had that. That's a shame. Okay. Has that stopped? Why have you stopped? Right, looks like I'm going to do this piece then. Because the worker is obviously going to get confused consistently. And then the worker can hopefully do that side. Although we might have to start it on the far side so it's always working into the field rather than working out of the field, if you know what I mean. It's tapered, so yeah, it gets narrower. It needs to get wider. Again, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not the best explanation ever. Good, okay, so we'll get that unloaded into there. And we'll get this on its way. So yeah, activated uh, 34,000 litres currently. Now 35, uh, we're gonna be storing the oil. We'll sell it when the price is best, which actually might be any time now, I don't know. It'd be good if we can just sell it straight away. But there is still quite a chunk, as you can see, left to do. But, just because of the way this field is tapered, we are going to have to start it over on the far side, I think, and leave it to it. But we do have two episodes to do this in. I think what we're going to do is put it onto a worker, leave it to it, we'll go and feed the cows. Because that is quite essential. And, oh actually I don't know, Ugh. it's not, the angle which I allowed the worker to go off at wasn't ideal. Put your header down. What are you doing? There. Yeah, we'll just make sure it is okay. I will probably have to do this final piece here. Hopefully it's going to go off in that direction. Mm, interesting. It's always interesting when it decides to drive into the crop. Not the most efficient approach. Oh, is that going to... Oh, no. So the header is still harvested even when raised. It didn't raise it, okay. As long as it doesn't detect it and think, Oh, I finished. Please don't do that. Good. Well, it looks like it might be on the right track then. Um, we'll do another tanker of this. We might as well. Um, we have basically run out of silage. I think there's some little bits left in the pit. Which we'll throw into the mixer, but it is going to be basically just hay. So they'll finish the turf mix ration first, and then they'll automatically transfer to the hay. But hay is not bad, it's still 80% productive, or effective, as they call it, effectiveness. Whereas turf mix ration is obviously 100%, it's the best you can get. But it's really not a problem. Okay, so leave that to unload. We'll jump into the wheel loader. Let's just see what we do have. Just a few little bits. 
Ooh, bouncy. Yeah, just a few bits. Is that pit empty? It is indeed. So we had 5,587 litres. Could be worse. Could have been 5,586 litres. <laughs> or it could have been nothing. Right. In you go. We will need the fence to transfer this. And yeah, I don't think there is any kind of um, limit for how much hay. Oh, no, there probably is. Okay, we've got to be careful then. Otherwise, it's just going to make the hay. It's going to make the whole lot of hay instead of it being a very small bit of uh, total mix ration. Do I dare put a four by? Yeah, I think we should be all right. But then after that, everything else will have to be hay. Could put a little bit of straw in, but again, it's probably risking it. So I won't do that. We do not want to throw it out of balance. Okay, so that looks like it is still total mix ration. I've just crashed. Perfect. Right, so yeah, we've got 13,500 litres of TMR. And then everything else will have to be hay. But still, that's better than nothing. There you go, cameras. Look at that one. Having a good rest. Oh, it's heard me. It's got up. Right. So the others, the hay can just be done with the wheel loader. We don't have to put it into this. We might have some more milk to transfer as well. I don't think the sheep require any more. Although I could just keep one over there just in case. Are we going to fit through the door? Ooh, that's tight. Okay, well, yep. <laughs> we'll fit through the door. And hopefully they take those. Good. Not that one, though. Good. Okay. Right, so let's have a look here. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's going to last for quite some time. So we'll just go and check upon that combine harvester again. It looks like everything is going well. All systems go. As soon as this is all out of the way, we'll be able to move on to December, which is one of our really good months for selling the crops, the grain, possibly some of these pallets as well. But we just have to stay in November to do the sunflowers. Right, we'll unload coming back down. Yeah, that piece over there. Mustn't forget that piece over there. Yeah, it's all going quite well now. Don't want to speak too soon, but it does seem to be. Hmm, not very full at all. Okay, we're full again. And very close to the end. Why have you put your auger in? Strange combine. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do this myself now. We'll finish the field ourselves. Uh, not forgetting the piece over there. And then, yeah, we can finish the episode knowing that there's no more harvesting to do. And the sunflowers can just process into lovely sunflower oil.
and that is pretty much the sunflower harvest done that has been really fast although yeah we've been traveling quite quickly and we do have a nice big nine meter header on which the combine has handled really well it's done a fantastic job so yep let's get that header folded up we'll get this taken over to the pit we might as well just unload should we just unload direct now let's just put it into the trailer then we can just do one big tip and yeah pretty sure i haven't missed any we'll check the map all done perfect so in that case what we will do is go into here return the corn header we will return the combine momentarily but yeah we've got another 21,800 liters so let's pop that into the pit we're going to get almost the grand total but it will have processed some So it's not going to be 100% accurate. There we go. Okay, so we finish with 56,700 litres and 344 litres of oil. Very, very nice. We'll park this here for the time being. We will return the combine. We will return the trailer. But that is a great place to finish. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.